Hello, wonderful people of Minecraft and YouTube. I am here with episode 4 of Minecraft Swag Efficiency Tutorial. We're gonna go mining first, but let me explain something. There was an error in the save, and apparently it was the episode 2 version. I decided to build things up and add more. I also want to talk about a certain issue. I want to talk about modification versus vanilla. It, is it okay that we go out of our way to get something impressive? Or should we leave it to Mojang to implement something similar later? Is it better that modification is vanilla and built in so you won't give yourself a headache trying to install something? Or is it better that we leave it to Mojang and even though it is modified and arguably worse or arguably trivial, we can live with it? Take the Pistons mod, for example. They were practically cannons in Trickster Paradise. They also gave players the ability to manipulate blocks, mobs, and people from a distance, and another reason to use redstone. However, Mojang implemented their own pistons later on. They used stone and wood so it didn't waste iron. It also had a sticky plunger so you could take blocks back and forth. Great for bridges and parkour maps. A loss, it sacrificed the power and potential for tricks, and the mod probably now has sticky pistons. What's worse is that the mod is in the shadow of the vanilla pistons. Also, do you think there is an issue with having two or three types of cauldrons? For example, if you had the wizardry mod before there was vanilla magic, and then Mojang implements enchanting and other things while you still have the mod, you will have two or three enchantment tables and cauldrons. Do you think it's cool having two enchantment tables and two cauldrons? Or do you think it's just a redundancy? So, how do you think things should be? Should there be a good mod that's a bit difficult to install? Or should it be built in but changed? Should there be some emergence point between the mod and vanilla so you don't have any redundancies? Also, why do you think Mojang just doesn't implement it in directly? Please leave a comment down below telling me what you think and what is a good solution. And I'm even talking to you guys. Yes, the people own PE and the Xbox 360 version. Please put your input on this. I want everybody's vote because remember, a Minecrafter is a Minecrafter. Okay, let's make our preparations for our mining trip. Do you like my sword sword, my diamond sword sword? You cannot afford for my diamond sword sword, even if you could, I have a passion. No one else can make a sword exactly in this man. And welcome to my manor manor, I can catch a can of cannons. Swing, 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 swing my sword sword. Whenever I get bored, bored, I can swing my sword sword, I can swing my sword sword. When I get the floor board, but I had a restore and it was expensive, but it was a fly off. Okay, I will stop right now. That is creepy. I hope you do not dislike this video because of that. So I'm going to smooth out my cave a little bit and I'm going to go down mining. Now, you might have seen some ladders in the background. That is because of that weird save glitch thingy, so we're going to go down. And I also just want to give you a couple tips on mining. So we're going to go spelunking. Now that is pretty much wandering around the cave, getting all the ore. However though, it is inefficient and you could get lost. So we're going to do a more swag and efficient version of that. So what we are going to do is we're going to leave some ore behind, travel a little bit, then come back. And we're going to use the skipped ore as a place marker. We're going to mine that and get the hell out. Uh, should I go down there? Should I stay up here? The choice is tough. Let's just try to jump down there. Hope for that big block to be the difference between losing a heart or three hearts. And we lost half a heart. Or did we lose anything at all? I'm not sure. Yeah, we didn't really lose anything. So let me build a smooth stone and cobblestone bridge. You might want to sneak because you don't want to fall all the way down. It's better if you change your sneak to caps lock instead of shift because you're going to be straining your pinky or you're going to be diverting your attention too much. Whereas caps lock, you hit the button and then you come back to that button Okay, later. so we got our ore, but we're going to smelt it later on and we're going to make it into a bucket. We're going to get the lava with our future bucket. We're going to make it into lava walls, lava towers, and we're even going to make furnace powered lava wait no I mean lava powered furnaces sorry so let's mine our coal so we can use something to smelt our future bucket with also I want to leave some charcoal for our torches now let's go down there ugh, and mine some 
charcoal or yogurt. For some reason, I was about to say charcoal. So you already know the tricks and tips I told you, but let's just fast forward to get on with it. We are done spelunking, let's head on home. Okay, there's a lot of dead ends, but if we mined a pass out, we would find ore and some dungeons. God, these caves are rich in diamonds. Well, not diamond, iron and coal. Let's go further. I know we're breaking the don't spelunky too much rule I just made a few minutes ago, but what the heck? Now, if you're trying to get back home, remember, use torches like breadcrumbs. They're what you've explored, and only following the torches means you're only going to get closer to home. Remember that. Remember, kids, certain blocks, certain tools. Spade, for example, can break dirt, sand, and gravel. A wood pickaxe can only harvest stone and coal. A stone pickaxe can harvest iron too, an iron pickaxe can harvest everything except obsidian, and that is for the diamond pickaxe. Waterfall, come on, die already, just die. Okay. So let's switch to our wood pickaxe and break that stone, let's go up and use our last few torches. Mr. Torch, you better be nice. Oh, ooh, iron, come here iron, come here. Good boy, good boy. <gasps> More iron. My best day ever. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Even more. More. All the ore is mine. It is mine. All mine. More. 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 Okay. Sorry. Whoa, it almost turned into a repeat of Tuesday. God, that Tuesday was real embarrassing. Miss Cole, come over here. We're gonna need you for a furnace. Yes, that's good. Okay, so you wanna use your wood pickaxe on coal because it might be slower, but at least you're not wasting your stone or iron pickaxe. I'm getting all of you, Miss Cole. <laughs> no, no, spare me! Spare me, stone! No! I will do whatever I can to mine all of you. <laughs> no, no, you mustn't. You must not. Spare me. Spare me, please. No. God, what was I doing? Yeah, I'm high. I'm definitely high. This definitely isn't my true side. Definitely isn't. I'm destroying all of you. I will get the x-ray mod and mine every bit of gold. No, no, you mustn't. You're destroying my people. Ah! 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 No, you mustn't. Sir Or. No, I proclaim that he must be industrialized for this proper. So he must mine our people in order to prosper. It is well worth it. And we become part of his tools, part of his allies. 
No, I disagree. He's simply an eradicator. Look how he does in my lapis lazuli and redstone and gold. Ah, ah, my people, the screams of my people, they're all dying. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'll stop. But as you can see, some people say that Minecraft is about building blocks and being imaginative in a creepy, awesome Lego world. No, just no. That's not mo that's not what Minecraft is. Minecraft, you're an evil thing that's very hard to kill. You're strip mining the earth. You're destroying forests. You're killing the natural inhabitants, and you're just destroying the environment, the landmarks, the life form there, just for your own stupid Lego castle. That is what Minecraft is. You play as an evil, ruthless mofo. And then you multiply and you spread. And you take the hate and the bitterness out on each other. And they call it multiplayer. And then people make YouTube videos out of those. They're like making videos off child slavery. That's how it's like. They're making videos off destroying the environment. Okay. Minecraft is fun though, and that is why Shell is doing what it's doing. Stone Gray Phillips signing out.